Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to create this natural makeup look and this is my favorite. I, I, I use it. I wear it all the time, almost every day and it's perfect for those of you who doesn't have a lot of time to do a glamorous crazy makeup look. 10 billion products. So keep on watching and I'll show you how to create this beautiful look. A lot of people actually been asking me where I get this headband and I get it on Amazon. So if you want to purchase one, you can get it on Amazon and it comes in a different colors. My favorite is black. So first step, I'll be using softening, softening lotion spray by MAC. I don't like using primers lately. I just like to use this softening lotion spray. It just works better for me instead of primer and I just spray all over my face and also I like to spray my beauty blender dab it all over my face and especially under the eye because it feels like it hydrates under eye area and my concealer doesn't crease as much for my foundation, I love to use Peach Perfect by Too Faced and this is a matte foundation. I only use matte foundation because I don't like to look shiny through the day and if I want the glow, I just apply highlighter or setting spray that gives me a little bit of glow. And I'm going to apply all over my face. I avoid the eye area because I will apply their concealer. And the shade I'm using is light beige for those of you who wants to know my shade because I get asked a lot on my Instagram. For my concealer, I use MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer and it's been my favorite concealer. I used to use a Tarte Shape Tape and now I only use this concealer because it almost doesn't crease under my eye and I'll just a little bit on my chin, top of my forehead, under the eye, and um, on the bridge of my nose just to highlight it. And I will be blending with my beauty blender. Then I will apply it on the top of my eyelid really carefully because I have eyelash extensions and I don't want to get any concealer on my eye. Also, forgot to mention this one is NC35 and I will blend in with a flat brush. If I didn't have eyelashes, I'll just blend it with a beauty blender, but because I have eyelash extensions, I have to be really careful not to damage them. After I'm done applying concealer on my eyes, I want to set it with Laura Mercier setting powder as soon as possible before it starts creasing because I hate when my concealer creases right here on my eye. And then I'll just apply a little bit all over my face and I don't like to bake. I know lots of people bake with translucent powders. I do not like doing that because it feels like it dries out my skin and it gives me wrinkles. So I never bake on my face. I just slightly set it with a fluffy round brush and this one is actually, which one is this? This one is my favorite to apply translucent powder and it's by Soyeva, it's 134 and it says powder fusion, so it is for powder. <laughs> and for my eyebrows, I will be using Angle Brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills and also Brow Duo and Salt Brown by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I've been using this for a long time. As you can see, there's almost a gone, but not really, still there. <laughs> And yes, I will be using two shades. It has a lighter and a darker shade. So starting from the darker shade, 
I will kind of outline under my eyebrow. and blend it up After I'm done outlining my hair strokes, I will go ahead and fill in in between with the same technique that I just did. And also I will be filming another tutorial on how I do my eyebrows and explain in details. Now I will be contouring my face and I would like to show you two of my favorite bronzers. This one is by Benefit Hula, which is my favorite. I've been using this bronzer for maybe like six seven years a very long time and i love 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 this one is a must-have and it works for most of the skin types skin tones not tights <laughs> and it works for most of the skin tones and also this one is by too faced another favorite highlighter and it's a very um kind of like dewy and luminous it's called sweethearts bronzer baked Lumi, luminous glow bronzer sweet tea i love this one if you're kind of looking for um glowy bronzer not a matte one because hula one is very matte and it's perfect for those days when you want to have a matte face okay so and then i'll be using a blush brush and this one is by makeup addiction and i'll just dip it into my bronzer and go under my cheekbone and i like to use circular motions that way it blends in much better instead of just going like you know straight forward if when you go on a circular motion it blends much better and it doesn't give you this harsh line yep and just like keep building don't apply it a lot right away because then it'll be much harder to blend so little by little and i like to go around my forehead because i have very tall forehead <laughs> and uh, kind of like to connect my bronzer over here with my cheekbone and also it my face looks tanner when I do it, oh my god, my headband doesn't want to stay in place. And then I go and apply under my chin just to give a slimmer look of my chin and face. Fatty. I'm not fatty. And now I'm done contouring my face and I can take this off. I feel much more comfortable now. <laughs> So for my nose contour, I will be using Hula bronzer because it's matte and I don't want my nose to be too shiny. And uh, I'm using my favorite, favorite brush that I contour my nose all the time. I don't know what brand is it. I don't know what kind of brush is it because I've been using so much that there's no writing anymore. So what I do is just dig into my favorite bronzer kind of like tap it and I make this brush flat like this and I just go on a side of my nose yeah and I kind of like to like do this when I do my bronzer <laughs> I don't know just like I mean when I contour my nose I like to do this I don't know why it just like helps me to get straighter line <laughs> and don't worry if you Put too much bronzer because I will show you the trick how to blend in the harsh lines if you get just in case and looks like I did a little bit too much so not a problem I can fix that and a little bit under the nose and I like to go over my cheekbones and a little bit of forehead 
Now I will be using Hello Flawless by Benefit, my favorite powder in champagne. And I use small, uh, small powder brush. And I'll apply on top of my nose and then I'll just blend in with the bronzer. And I'll look more natural and no harsh lines on top of my forehead just to kind of highlight the underneath of my eye under the bronzer here and my favorite step is highlighter so i will be using two highlighters and i love this one by laura mercier it's actually translucent translucent powder but i love to use it as a highlighter especially if you're looking for a natural for every day it's not too much it's not gonna just like glow and make everyone blind so mm -hmm. and i'm using bh brush for my highlighter this one is number five it's my favorite to apply highlighter and i'll put on top of my cheekbone right here and you see it already it looks very glowy and i like how natural it looks like perfect for every day on top of my lip and the bridge of my nose to make it more slimmer i actually get the question on my Instagram if I get my nose done I do not never get my nose done uh, what I do is contour and highlight honestly it makes the big difference and of course a little bit of face tune and uh, on a bone of my eye eyebrow bone of my eyebrow is it is it right <laughs> so this would be perfect for every day if you're going to work a just, you know, if you run in errands. <laughs> and if you want to go more intense, you can add more highlighter. And another favorite highlighter that I love is by Becca. Most of the shades that she has are my favorite, but this one is, uh, which one is this one? This one is a Moonstone. I like to use Moonstone in a winter when I'm more on a fair skin color <laughs> because it's very light. I mean, I love, I love to tan. In the summer, I'm darker, so I'm using different shades all the time. And I'll just apply it on top of the existing highlighter. I love building highlighters. It's just so much fun playing around with highlighters. Okay, and let's move to the blush. For the blush, I love to use... Um, this Blush and Glow Tiny Travel Size Palette by Natasha Denova. I got this before my trip to New York and I fell in love with a blush. What is it? Blush and Glow. I'm not sure if it says what shade it is. I didn't like fell in love with this highlighter. It kind of felt too grayish for me, but I love the blush. So I will be using Natasha Denova Blush Denova. Denova. I don't know what shade it is, but... And I'll just kind of put it on my top of my cheek. Now you, also you can smile so it's easier to see where to put the blush. And it has like a beautiful golden little glow in it. So I don't know, I'm just, I love blushes. I always use blushes and I can put a little bit on top of my nose. So since I have eyelash extensions i'm not gonna use mascara but on top of my eyelashes but i will be using mascara mascara on the bottom of my lashes and mascara i'm using is a butter london stroke of wow that looks like this i like the spooey because one side is i don't know if you can see it on the camera one side is thicker and another side is kind of smaller. So the smaller side is will be perfect for the bottom lashes. And it builds in a perfect volume. I mean, it's not you're not going to see a huge difference because my eyelashes are very very tiny. <laughs> 
that's also a reason why I'm very picky when it comes to mascara. Obviously not now because like I said before, I have eyelash extensions and it, there is a reason why. Because I have very tiny lashes and it feels like it saves a lot of time when I'm getting ready. I can get ready much faster with extensions on. So, for I'm not going to use lipstick today because it's a natural on the go quick makeup but i will be using a lip balm and my favorite is by pixie and nourishing lip polish i love this lip balm because the tip of it it's kind of like it's kind of like scrubbing your lips so the tip of the lip balm it looks kind of like this so like it has a little spiky end on it, so it scrubs your lips at the same time while you nourish them. Nourish, moisturize them. <laughs> Perfect for the winter, because my lips are so dry right now. Also, I just came back from New York, and it was extremely cold there, and my skin and my lips is so dry. So it's like perfect. Okay. And for my setting spray, I will be using MAC Fix Plus. And this is a lavender scent. My favorite. I'm obsessed with lavender. And I'll just spray all over my face. Ooh, I think I got it in my mouth. <laughs> just oh, to set. And it smells so good. It smells like lavender. And I have another tip for you guys. Sometimes when I use setting spray, it like spritz so much that when it dries out, you see like little marks on the face. And what I do is wait for the setting spray to dry out. And then I take the brush that I used for the powder and I kind of go over. So there's no patches left from the setting spray. This is my finished look. That's how I do my makeup every day, most of the time. Also, even when I go out to an event or especially if I have a special occasion, I kind of do similar makeup, maybe like heavier foundation and I set it more. All, all I do is just add a very bright lipstick like red one or burgundy, for example, is my favorite. And looks like a night makeup so you can play with this look however you want and i hope you guys loved it and enjoyed it and thank you for watching me don't forget to subscribe so you will get notification on my other tutorials thank you